Welcome back to my Kenshi series in which I try to survive 100 days as a solo character. In the last episode, we just joined the Shinobi Thieves, we escaped being enslaved and almost died a couple times, but in the process, we got our stats up quite a bit. Stealth up to level 79, as well as Assassination at level 52. Right now, we got a really bomb leg, so we gotta go upstairs and heal and lie down in a bed. But after we heal, I'm gonna go out and try to make some money today. We're gonna put some of these skills to use. I still need to level up Tom Foolery's thievery skill, but that's okay. We can do that in the process while we're playing today. Tom Foolery's gonna lie down in one of these beds for now, and we're just gonna take a look around the map. I have a squad multiplier basically maxed out at three, so there's a lot of different enemies and different uh, NPCs running around the area. Ideally, I think for today, we're gonna want to try to sneak into stack i don't want to rob squin or a uh, some of the other places in the game like the united cities because i want to use those places or go back there later but the holy nation i don't plan to be hanging around there a lot so it's not that big of a deal if we go over there and steal some things i would like to see if i could find um some kind of shop person or somebody who might have some thief clothing shinobi trader right up here i should be able to find some stuff from him uh, i'm not sure i mean like we could get a katana but uh it's, it's out of our price range all right looks like we can't get anything other than some food at the bar and then we'll make our way out over to stack i can't grab a whole lot of food because i'm going to be trying to steal stuff and as you can see because our stealth skill is so high we actually run the same speed we don't lose any speed from going from uh normal athletics to stealth i think today our goal is going to be just to sneak into the city here right past the guards we gotta stay out of light sources here boom we're hidden i think we are yeah we're we're, <laughs> we're hidden okay we are now in the holy nation city i want to go find a store preferably like a uh, weapon store or something because those would have uh, the most loot or money and stuff in them or i could sneak into the holy nation armory i'm not sure should i Ooh, there's a guy right there. Okay, I can, but I gotta be very careful. Can I do a stealth KO? There we go, knocked out. The so Holy Paladins have some loot on them, but not much, obviously. Ideally, we're gonna wanna go over to that weapon display. I wonder if we can run through the light. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, we're in. Now we just gotta pick some chests and get in. I'm not gonna do this on a fast speed because I feel like this is very risky. That guy's knocked out for 80 seconds at least, so that's good. Oh, boom, we're in. Um, not a whole lot, that's good. Alright, we're getting caught for thieving, but that'll increase our uh, thievery skill, I believe. Oh, there's a paladin coming. Is he coming for me? No, 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 he's running away. Oh no, a guy's making his rounds. <laughs> Does he not notice his uh, buddy is over there, knocked out? That first Holy Nation guy's just about to wake up, finally. Ooh, okay, there's some better stuff in here. Oh, let go. Oh, no, 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 they found me, they found me. Okay, run, run, run. Who are they fighting? Oh, just hungry bandits? Okay, so that that's a good distraction time to get the heck out of here. He must be rebirthed for his sins. No, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. They, they hit me hard there. All right, I might have to drop some stuff. Run, Tom Foolery. Get away. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. They almost did rebirth me for <laughs> the sins. But that's all right. We're running a little bit faster than them. They should stop chasing us soon. I'd say we uh, go back and do it again, but we're pretty injured now. We didn't really get a whole lot of loot from that. I mean, there's got to be a spot that has more, like, uh, weapons or armor. All right, so round two, we're going to try to sneak... <laughs> whoa look at that group of hungry bandits are they going to go attack see what happens here maybe i can just sneak in with hungry bandits oh yeah i can <laughs> let's go back into the armory no i probably shouldn't be uh doinking about doing this but uh i mean i gotta see what's in the safe Ooh, pick success Ooh, we got a blueprint there some shirts Oh, those are high quality too. Yeah, this is where we keep the good stuff. Ooh, he, he yelled out thief, but uh, I don't think he saw me. Try to sneak out of here. Oh my, there's so much going on. All these starving bandits fighting the Holy Nation. Okay, I gotta be really careful right now. Okay, well, we're doing it. We're uh, escaping. Oh, wait, no, did that guy see me? <gasps> he did. Oh, he's strong too. Damn, man. I don't want to lose this loot. Hopefully... We can get to a distance where uh, they can stop seeing us. This is a perfect time to get the hell out of here. Oh no, he's chasing me again. 
I gotta hope those outlaws stop him. Stop chasing me, bro. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. Yeah, you are not killing me, bro. Oh, 31 damage. Okay, that's not a good start. All these holy servants and paladins. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta drop stuff and go. That's worth a lot of money, but... It's also very heavy. Man, I'm not getting anything from this run. Oh, there we go. I'm just fast enough now. Okay, let's run into the mountains and try to lose this guy. It's gonna take a while because we're like maybe one mile faster per hour than him. Okay, so um, like it that did work, but it didn't. And on top of that, I've attracted a bunch of dust bandits my way. These, I think, uh, might be worth fighting. I mean, there are a lot of them, but oh, no, no, no. We're gonna start shooting. Let's try to lure them to the bar up here. Help! It is me, Tom Fullery. <laughs> oh no. Okay, get it, get into the bar quick. There we go. So the barkeeper and his ninja guard's gonna help us out. Oh my, there's so much going on in here, man. Yeah, this is not looking good. Oh no, the ninja guard's already knocked out, dude. This is not working. We gotta, we gotta flee, man. <laughs> we gotta flee. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're still fighting, dude. <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe I'll bring them all into the hub. The hub has a few more ninja guards, plus the shinobi thieves can give us a hand. Look <laughs> at poor Tom Foolery. This is like a perfect, uh, I hate dust bandits photo. <laughs> Got literally four arrows sticking out of his head. Yeah, being a solo in Kenshi is, uh, pretty hard. <laughs> and like I said, nobody said it would be easy, but, uh... I mean, we're, we're making it work. Gonna bring them all into the bar. Dude, they, they'd follow me anywhere right now. Like, they, they'd follow me into a Holy Nation slave camp. Heal up, Tom Foolery. No! <laughs> Bastard, man! Bastard! He just had to come by and get that done. Or well, we're unconscious for a minute and a half now, and there is an overwhelming amount of dust bandits in the bar. Oh my this is like barely work yes a drifter is actually healing us so that's nice i don't think i've ever seen that happen in vanilla kenshi before <laughs> uh, that that's rare okay so now we can go around uh looting all these guys if, uh I, c I could find the barkeeper somewhere in here i think he's knocked out yeah ninja guard ninja guard is knocked out right now now, where is the barkeeper, bro? <laughs> like, I, I think he got killed or knocked out or something. He's not here no more. Great, and we got slavers coming in to try to uh, steal some loot from us. So maybe I'll just go to the uh, trade ninja of a shinobi thieves tower and sell stuff to him. Oh, uh, he, he buys it for 50% less? Are you kidding me? We made a little bit of money there. We need to go back and uh, collect more loot. Oh, here's the barman. Here, first aid him before his uh, right leg pops off. <laughs> no worries, Mr. Barman. I'm here for you. And I don't have a med kit anymore, so I need to buy a new one. Oh, uh, yes, the barman's back. Okay, so I can uh, pick up all the loot that's on all these guys that are in the bar conveniently enough. Just literally strip all of these guys of all of their loot <laughs> and sell it straight to the barkeeper. This is going to be good. Oh, no. The barkeeper got knocked out, man. Okay, well, he... He, he's back up. Okay, I gotta buy a med kit off him quick and heal him <laughs> before he gets knocked out again. Oh, the barman doesn't have any more money. Okay. Let's do that um extra backpack trick where we pick up a dust bandit and then just put stuff on him. Man, all of that nonsense just because Tom Foolery came back to the hub. I mean, it was well worth it though. I uh, Tom Foolery's becoming rich. Well, we're hurting pretty bad, so <laughs> I think we should go uh, rest now. We made a lot of money during that though, like 18 cats now that's pretty good but the battle's still going on there's still people fighting oh the uh slave mongers are fighting the ninja guards now that isn't good oh there's a bunch of dust bandits to clean up too that's free experience oh shit no 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 that isn't good that isn't good slaver knocked out tomfoolery oh don't you even think about it you fucking piece of shit <laughs> see you staring at tomfoolery like that you asshole get up Ooh, okay, that was close. Well, at least now we're at 20,000 cats, so that's a step up. Still far off from where I'd like to be, so we're gonna have to find some other stuff to steal in-game. Pretty sure if I went back to stack, all of that loot would still be there, but I'm not even sure that stuff's worth grabbing, really. I think I would like to buy a better weapon, though, because, uh, yeah, this, uh, iron club, it's done us alright, but finally, let's get rid of it and let's get a ninja blade. This one has a very high cut damage, that'll be a lot better. And, uh, maybe I'll get an armored hood as well, we can, uh, switch out 
that uh, holy nation like helmet for this and we're looking a lot better looking more like a shinobi thief if you ask me so i think let's maybe go back out and uh see what everybody's up to is everybody still kung fu fighting or is it over now oh man like uh tomfoolery is not very strong yet we really gotta get stronger like this is really rough we spent like two minutes outside find fighting uh two weak bandits and look at how injured we are again tom fuller he's got a limp back to bed poor guy man poor guy see i know one of the things i really need to do is train up our strength level because with low strength level we can't really carry a lot of loot out of uh, these places that we're stealing from i mean as we saw like a few minutes ago that did not work good <laughs> oh no there, there's no one left at this bar oh wait that's uh that's kind of good that means we can steal stuff all right well we're finding some stuff i mean like there's a bunch of bolts and crap around here but might have to go back to the shinobi thieves tower and then make another run the shopkeeper's money is back to max so i can sell a lot of stuff to him and just run back and forth in between the bars go back for round two <laughs> see this works we can uh do this because it's really close but I definitely need to get the strength level up. And uh, there is a safe here, but I'm not skilled enough to pick it. Damn, who knows what's in that? Well, that's pretty uh, shitty. And with a second inventory full, we can go back to the first bar and sell all of this stuff. And there we go. That'll bring us back up to 20k cats. I think maybe we'll run back up towards stack and I'll see if I can grab all that stuff that I threw out of a backpack. I believe I left it next to like a large iron or nodes so i'll just look out for one of those and hopefully we can find our stuff uh so far it's not looking too good <laughs> i did not see anything maybe it's up here oh animal skins not what i'm looking for <laughs> damn man okay uh we might have lost all that loot but that's okay if we can break in again we might be able to steal even more stuff let's go run into the city okay we're in a headgear shop uh we are unspotted i believe right now so we can start checking these uh places like the shops and whatnot see if any of them have uh stuff that's worth stealing so far we do not have a lot of luck but Let's keep on lock picking and see if I can find anything that's worth value. Oh, this guy's locking up for the night too. He didn't even know I'm in here. Oh, okay. So, uh, quite a bit of stuff in here. At least, uh, blueprints. Those are worth, uh, some money. All right. Well, I knocked out the guy on top. I might as well knock out the guy in the bed. And yeah, that'll make sure that he's knocked out. Oh, I could take his backpack too and steal a lot more stuff. Oh, and he has sandals. Nice. I finally got sandals. So we got a 100% stealing chance for all of this stuff because everybody's knocked out in here. All right, let's uh, pick the lock and get back out of here. Yo, this might actually be uh, super OP. I've always known like stealth is OP, but I kind of avoid using it most of the time. Yeah, I can see why uh, this would be fun or addicting. We can just go around picking lock breaking into different stores and getting a lot of money while doing it so um i did not see anybody here oh they're all upstairs okay well we got three people to knock out let's do it and that gives us about 80 seconds until they all wake up this guy's got another trader's backpack Ooh, how am i getting caught for uh stealing oh no he knows i'm in here huh <gasps> open open no run <laughs> Okay, uh, so we got caught by the shopkeeper. I think it's time to escape. Oh, oh, he might have... Oh, man, he, he he can still see me. This isn't good. <laughs> Gonna run around the building and shit, try to lose him. Oh, okay, they <laughs> they still see me. This is not good. Might have to drop some more stuff again. Ah, oh, man, I, I hate dropping stuff, but... Run, tomfoolery, run! <laughs> They're gonna kill you. Oh, my, that's that's a pretty big group. Um, I think I'm faster than them. No, he's catching up. I just have to keep on dropping, uh, helmets until I'm faster than all of them. Well, we will run back to the hub. Worst comes to worst, we'll have to bring, uh, these guys into the bar. But we're having a pretty hard time keeping up, though. Oh, no, okay, they're, they're doing some decent damage. I gotta drop even more stuff. All right, now we're lightweight, and, uh, we're actually outrunning them. Oh, no, why, why'd you stop? Run. no tomfoolery run 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 they're gonna kill you if you stay there they'll send you to rebirth and shave your head and all that shit man you, you don't want to get caught by them so we're back at the hub let's go into safety the shinobi thieves place um we lost the paladins thankfully finally wow and i believe i have some stuff i can sell at the bar it's not a lot but um 
the barkeeper is not here. <laughs> is he having a nap? I think uh, a barkeeper might have despawned or died. There's just no one here? Well, that sucks. That means uh, we can't sell anything here. Maybe we'll go down to Squin instead. We'll uh, try to see what we can uh, get from down in Squin. I'm sure I can sell these blueprints and what I do have in my inventory down there. Squin isn't too far, and uh, with the new PC, it's just crazy. Like, I haven't seen a loading screen in about a week, man. It's beautiful. You see loading right there? Stutters for maybe like one-tenth of a second. Other than that, we're set. Oh, damn. I can't get into here either. Some kind of uh, mysterious force blocking me. I'll probably have to import a save. But okay. Now, let's get to selling all that stuff that we got. That made us a little bit richer. Close to 30k. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, there's a bunch of fighting going on up here. Ah, just a bunch of sticks on the ground. Not much. Oh, no. The alarm's raised. Okay, maybe uh, let's let's get out of Squin. Maybe we won't hang out in Squin. <laughs> I guess because I try to assassinate one of the nomads and try to run back to the gate. That didn't work. We'll go back to the hub. We'll uh, think out a new plan. <laughs> like this guy. He's just waiting to be looted. He looks like he has good stats. Ooh, 100% stealth KO. Let's do it. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, see, I knew it. He had a good weapon on him bro yeah, there's so many possibilities with this i think we'll need to head back to like where the empire is and where we can sell slaves oh yeah there's no one even at the bar and uh <laughs> i think that rebel base the that barkeeper got killed as well <laughs> i'll go check it but uh, i'm pretty certain i can't even sell the stuff there either here i can knock out all these dust bandits for their uh, chest protectors those sell for like 300 cats each <laughs> dude i got my whole inventory full right now it's knocked out like <laughs> like look look at this nobody's just turned around and nobody's uh stopped to check what's going on there's like a breadcrumb trail of dust bandits right now <laughs> well let's go into stack blessings upon you brother v suspected nothing Let's go into the bar and sell all of this stuff. Yeah, I think I'll replace the sword I have right now and just sell the one I had equipped. Either way, it brings us up to 35k. I can always uh, go around and sneak to check out what this place might have for me. Yeah, look, I can like pick locks with people standing right behind me. And it's not a problem at all. <laughs> See, ideally, I think stealth KO and then go stealth KO. Yeah, there we go. Now we can look around and we got a way better chance to steal stuff. So we're looking set. Let's uh, loot everything that we really can. I have a 100% chance to steal all of this stuff. That's really good. All right, well, that is one holy store down. Oh, no, the shopkeeper's getting back up. All right, let's just walk right out like nothing ever happened. What about in here? Is there uh, any... um? Oh, there is the High Inquisitor. Oh, but I can't stealth KO him yet. Not even with a level 58 assassination. Dang. Yeah, they are way too high leveled for me to mess about in there. Let me try to go to uh, some of the other stores and I'll rob them instead. Oh no, this guy came down. Ooh, I, I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. This is not very hard. This is like an easier way to play Kenshi. All right, everybody's knocked out. I got 100% chance to steal all of this stuff. I got two backpacks to fill up this time. I might even just take his backpack too because his back... These backpacks are worth like 2,000 each, man. They're a good score. So I've got a full inventory of stuff on me. I could even load up, I think, one more time, which I'm tempted to do. Let's check out what they got in their general storage. You can stealth KO these two guys pretty easily. Ooh, some, some cats? Yeah, I'll take some cats. All right, I think I've uh, gotten enough from here. Let's try to escape the city without being detected. Good. It worked. All I gotta do now is pick up a random body, and then I think we'll be set. I wanna do some strength training, of course, while we're running. So all we gotta do now is make it back to the hub. If we make it back to the hub, we'll get a lot of money because I stole a lot of stuff. What are we at? 258 pounds right now. <laughs> I'm doing some strength training in the meantime as well, because it, it's night, we can sneak through and hopefully get through most of these guys that are fighting. But our stealth level is only one because of all the negative bonuses we have. Oh no, we have been detected. Oh no, dude, they're gonna knock us out. Ah, they got me. Bastards. Okay, I need to get up. I need to sneak. And <laughs> I don't have a med kit. Oh no. I know I do in here. Yeah, there we go. I'll pull this out. Put this backpack back here. Put that one on my back. And then we can heal and pick up our guy again. And go back on the road. We probably shouldn't walk uh, straight through or behind 
these uh packs of bandits you know and probably not our best idea yeah like this guy he just found us again knocked us out awesome all right we're doing good we're about halfway there we're getting our strength up we're level 21 right now and it's going up very fast like i said before we need our strength level up because this whole uh grabbing a few things and having to drop most of stuff during this episode lost us a lot of money i mean not a lot maybe like 20k but still enough to you know bat an eye at <gasps> Oh, wait, dude, now I remember there wasn't even a uh, bartender there last time. We might have to go all the way down to Squin. I mean, that's all right because it's like uh, more experience for us, but I'll have to be careful and uh, watch out where I'm going. If we run into the wrong person or the wrong group, we're screwed. Like, ideally for strength training, I just recommend following a nomad group if it's your first time playing Kenshi because when you run into dust bandits and they attack you with a nomad group, most of the time the nomad group's gonna help you. <laughs> Sometimes they won't. Okay, don't take my word for it, but most of the time they will. We're like actually making it there just past the hub and we're getting closer to Squin. Oh my god, look at how many nomads and pack beasts there are there. <laughs> what a line, man. Oh, you see, yeah, the nomads are fighting a group that uh probably would have tried to jump us had uh, the nomads not been here. Oh my, we are almost there now. We're about to hit like level 28 strength as well. That's really good. I'm gonna just run back from like one side of a squin over to the other until at least morning time. That's about like six hours in game because the shops are about to close and this will give me enough time to run around with this stuff to get us up to like level 30 strength, which like still for sure isn't like super high, but it's a lot better. I think we were at maybe level six <laughs> at the start of this episode. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Oh, wow. That's a big group of dust bandits. I would love to have them uh, fight. Huh? <gasps> look, look. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> so much money, 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 money. Okay, this might uh, cut off the strength training a little bit early, but that's all right. I'll go into the bar. I'll sell what I have. Oh, now we're throwing them all into prison. See, that's only downside is that they, they throw them all into prison so fast. So you lose so much money. Wow. There's just an absolute bloodbath in the middle of town. This is brutal, man. The stores are just about to open now. It should be a few more minutes. There we go. Um, There's no shopkeeper in here, so... <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Let's try to get rid of as much stuff as we can. I can maybe keep uh, one of these nice shirts, but other than that, everything else I just want to sell. Wow, we already ran this shopkeeper dry. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's funny. Let's go to the uh, armor shop and let's run him dry as well. Oh, man, that's a lot of money. Oh, we still have a couple blueprints to sell and there's all of these bodies here. I reckon we can almost get to 100k. I'll have to loot fast, but uh, there's definitely enough heart protectors and other stuff around here for us to get to there. That's a lot of stuff. There's like two or three more stores that we can sell to, so we should actually be able to do this. We're at 86 right now. Let's see what we go up to after I sell these three backpacks. Oh, there we are. We're at 100k right there. <laughs> wow. I mean, that was fast. I was really planning to make about 50,000 because uh, about halfway through this episode, I actually thought I was only going to make 50,000 cats and the video would be like uh, how I made 50,000 cats in five days in Kenshi. But now it is how we made 100,000 cats in five days in Kenji and that's just of pure profit because as you guys saw we were buying a lot of equipment upgrading different things kind of had to throw away a lot of stuff as well in between but as you can see but as you guys can see thieving and stealing is definitely one of the easiest ways to make money inside of Kenji drop this escape servant and let's go inside of a store finally sell the last bit of loot and I think I'll actually keep those three backpacks they're kind of a uh, really handy I mean makes our inventory super loaded but at least we can carry a bunch of stuff only having one character kind of constraints us in inventory space but carrying more backpacks just inside of our main inventory like that's got to be an exploit <laughs> i'll even buy some more maps as well so in the next episode i got a bunch of locations marked down but yeah tom foolery successfully made over 100,000 cats in profit in just five days in kenshi if you guys did like this video remember to leave a like subscribe and comment it helps keep me motivated to get more content out for you guys i'm super appreciative appreciative and thankful for all the support of the channel and the series so far we just hit 7,000 subscribers so that's amazing i'll have a lot more content out for you guys soon so stay tuned but as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace